Hello and welcome to this month's Maggie Moment. We've had a couple of interesting um, inquiries lately from um, some fairly frazzled houses and a couple of them really felt like, oh my goodness, I'm living in chaos and the kids outnumber me. So a couple of these are solo parents or parents whose partner travels away and they have got some fairly um, rambunctious children, roosters, different ages with some additional challenges and the second guessing in the rules and the whole bit's just gone out the window. Now, let's be honest that there's two ends to human behavior and one is chaos and one is rigidity. So what actually functions best is somewhere in the middle where we can have some structure and organization, but we still have flexibility and moments when things can go a bit funny. These messages are coming from people where, uh-oh, right off in here. So sometimes what's happened is we've, we've, we've just eased up on a couple of boundaries. Um, we've softened on a few things. We've maybe stopped the bedtime routine as much because it's not easy with four children in one parent. Um, and before you know it, it's collapsed a few more boundaries. So as soon as structure starts to collapse, chaos will reign. Remember, if you have toddlers and children under four, they're biologically wired to push all your boundaries. They can't remember you've got any. They're biologically wired to have fun and be little monkeys quite often, and that's girls and boys. So I keep on saying to people in this situation, breathe, this too will pass. However, we do need to return to some sort of sanity. So I do recommend a family meeting, hopefully with dad or mum both present, with a bit of a plan, because when you actually say to your children, oh, this is really getting really difficult and we're really finding a lot more conflict at the moment than we did six months ago. So we're going to do a bit of a plan about how we can bring our homes into a more harmonious place. And harmony is what we love every day of the week, unrealistic. However, chaos with never any harmony, that's a really difficult place to be. Um, so once again, some real guidelines. Let's put things back in place, put it on a big piece of paper, put it up on a wall. If you've got boys, you'll need some pictures because I don't tend to follow rules very well. And it's about us gradually returning back to some more positive habits. If you're in that space as well, usually I find that the chaos is a mum, particularly a mum, unsupported. In other words, she might just not have time to connect with her sisterhood or a mum's miles away or she might not be the sort of mum you can share that with. So what we need is to where can you work into some self-care that allows you to get to a place where you have a break. And really seriously, some of these chaotic houses with parents away, I, I get, take a bank loan out if you have to, but I really suggest you need someone to come in and help, particularly from four till eight at night, um, and just to get that crazy hour settled down a little bit because you'll tend to find that's where you tip over because you're already exhausted. The day's going down, um, you know, <laughs> hell in a handbag. And we really need you to get some support because this won't last forever. And if you can, you know, invite a loving family member in if you can't, you know, if you, if you can't have got one. If you've got one, yes, go for it. But don't invite someone else in who might add to the chaos or add to too much rigidity too quickly. So again, we can develop our habits again, but we've got to look at the stress levels of mums and dads, as well as what's going on for our children. Children do need structure. They value those sorts of routines and we can get them back into place. When they participate with us, there's a better chance of that sort of thing happening. Our kids know when things are a bit out of whack as well. And then underneath all that, you have to find some lightness and laughter, because remember, lightness and laughter can lift moods. And that's really important while we're trying to manage to bring chaos back into order. I'm having a chuckle because there were days I looked around my house and thought, oh goodness, where do I start? And I would quite often just have a, a dinner or a picnic out on the outside on the lawn because I couldn't face the house, which had been almost demolished by my lovely lads. There are days that are hard, but when every day is in chaos, we do need to seek some support and some help and to change some of that. Hopefully that's been helpful. If you've had a chaos and you've actually tamed it all and you've got some great ideas, please share them. Uh, and in the meantime, um, good luck out there. Keep breathing. And that's all for today's Maggie Moment.